Bismillahir So, uh, dear students, today we'll be talking about another important inorganic complex that is the potassium permanganate. We will start with our uh, preparation. Take a preparation here. Potassium permanganate we can prepare from an ore called as pyroleucite MnO2. Now, this ore says to prepare karne ke liye, there are two steps. Step number one conversion of this ore pyroleucite into potassium permanganate. ठीक है क्या करते हैं pyroleucite ore को हम powder बनाते हैं फिर इसको fuse करते हैं potassium hydroxide in presence of oxygen or in presence of oxidizing agent and then you will get potassium manganate and then in the step number two this potassium manganate is converted into potassium permanganate अब कैसे convert करेंगे simply potassium manganate को हमें oxidize करना है so oxidation is carried out by either chemical means that is with the help of oxidizing agents or oxidation is carried out with the help of electrochemical process it's called electrochemical oxidation यहाँ पे मैं I will already discuss chemical oxidation electrochemical oxidation के लिए I may prepare a separate class on that because उसमें मुझे कुछ चीजें discuss करनी है but for the examination purpose I will just stick with the chemical oxidation तो chemical oxidation में क्या किया जाता है जो ऊपर हमें बना है potassium magnet it is treated with carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide acts as some sort of oxidizing agent and then it gets converted to potassium per magnet. Here the important part is that we are also getting the side product that is MnO2. This means that some portion of potassium magnet is getting converted into MnO2 or back to pyrolyside. So this is uh, economically it's not a suitable process. Okay? So this is all about the preparation. Now if we talk about the physical properties. Potassium permanganate is a dark purple compound. Prismatic crystals, okay? But its melting point is very high, 523. It's moderately soluble in the water, but if you increase the temperature, the solubility increases. Now, the most important portion of potassium permanganate that is the chemical property. And among the chemical property, the important that is the oxidizing agent. Since potassium permanganate magnesium jo hai, is a plus seven oxidation state. Hota hai. So I know we know that जब भी किसी भी transition element का oxidation state ज़्यादा होता है, so it's a strong oxidizing agent. यहाँ पे जो important बात है, it acts as oxidizing agent in the acidic medium, in basic medium and in the neutral medium. And among these three media, in acidic medium it acts as a powerful oxidizing agent. देखिए, जब आप इसे oxidizing acidic medium में इसकी oxidation property check करेंगे, it gives three five oxygen atoms. यानी ये substrate को देगा five oxygen atoms or you can see it like this that it removes 5 electrons from the substrate removal of electron oxidation but if you check in basic and neutral media in these medias its oxidation property is less than in the acidic so it gives 3 oxygen atoms in both and also it removes or it removes 3 electrons from the substrate so if you check it uh, oxidation property check it acts as a strong oxidizing agent in the acidic medium and then we have neutral and basic medium now we will check some reactions in the neutral acidic and basic media Dekhi. in the neutral media I have selected two reactions it oxidizes hydrogen sulfide to sulfur and then it oxidizes sodium thiosulfate to sodium sulfate now here we can see this is you need not to remember this I have just kept it here to show you that how the process happens you have to remember that it can oxidize hydrogen sulfide to sulfur in this case hydrogen sulfide sulfur has oxygen state of minus 2 but sulfur here has 0 so minus 2 to 0 means simply the removal of electrons oxidation likely sodium thiosulfate to sodium sulfate sodium thiosulfate may you can check the oxidation and you can check the oxygen state in sodium sulfate so you can simply see the oxygen state is increasing as you move from this to this okay now the most important portion is oxidation in the alkaline medium. If you have an organic compound, for example, toluene, and then you treat this with alkaline KMnO4, so what happens? This part has CH3, it gets converted to carboxylic acid group. So it's called so this is the oxidation. Likely the other important aspect is that it's also called the Bayer's reagent. KMnO4 potassium permanganate under the alkaline condition is called a Bayer's reagent. Is it what is it? It is used for testing the unsaturated compounds in the laboratory. When an unsaturated organic compound is shaken with the Bayer's reagent, 
pink color is discharged. Now this discharging of pink color is an indication that your system, sample contains unsaturated compound. For example, if you have ethylene, we know that ethylene it's CH to CH double bond. If you treat this with alkaline KMnO4, the pink color gets discharged. It is discharged due to formation of ethylene glycol and that oxidation is carried out by alkaline KMnO4. So these are the important reactions in the alkaline medium. Now acidic medium, it's a very strong and a powerful oxidizing agent in the acidic medium. So it can convert Fe2 to Fe3 means ferrous salts to ferric salts. Oxalic acid to carbon dioxide and water is very important. Hydrogen sulfide to sulfur. Nitrites to nitrates. Iodide to iodine. And then another important reaction that the acidic in the acidic conditions under the acidic media, it oxidizes primary alcohols first to aldehydes and then it further converts this into carboxylic acids. While if you have an alcohol, it gets converted to ketone. Now finally the uses, it's a very important uses, it's a powerful oxidizing agent in the laboratory and industry as well. It is used as a disinfectant in water, wells, tanks, lab mein jo hum distilled water banati hai, usme bhi aapne dekha hoga that we keep there in that distillation plant the KMNO4. Then it is used in the qualitative analysis for detecting halides, sulfides and oxalates and in the quantitative estimation particularly volumetrically. Hum isko Estimate करें करते हैं इसके हेल्प से फेरासाल्स को ऑक्सालिक एसिड और ऑक्सलेट्स नाउ अगर स्ट्रक्चर की बात करें यहां देख सकते हो इट्स अ टेट्राहेड्रल टिपिकल टेट्राहेड्रल स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस इज अ सिंगल बॉन्ड हियर एंड देन थ्री डबल बॉन्ड्स सो इट इज योर टेट्राहेड्रल ज्योमेट्री दैट इज sp3 स्ट्रक्चर हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल व्हाट वी हैव द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड द प्रिपरेशन एंड देन इसमें जो एक इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्शन में जहां बात कर रहा था इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल ऑक्सीडेशन की so I will make a separate class on that because यहाँ पे कुछ important चीजें मुझे discuss करनी है so I felt that क्योंकि length अब like ये जो lecture YouTube ये जो lecture है ये recording ये थोड़ा ज़्यादा हो जाता है so I have skipped the electrochemical portion so otherwise this is more than enough for your exam or any higher level exam so this is all for the day thank you